Hello guys. In our previous video, we newly released the HitPa Video Converter. It is a powerful converting tool for video creators with its easy-to-use features and friendly user interface design. So this video is a full tutorial of HitPa Video Converter and let me guide you to find out the secrets of the converter. Now let's get started. You can get HitPa Video Converter from our official website, hitpa.com, find product, and go to the page. In here you can click try it free to download and install the software. There is a quick introduction on the page. The converter is now available on Windows system, the Mac version will also be coming out soon. Now we launch HitPa Video Converter. It will check for update automatically. We are now using the latest version so that all features can be displayed. There are three modules for us to choose. We will go through them one by one. In the Convert module, we can convert videos or audios to any formats we want. Click the middle area to import the files, or drag and drop them inside the area. Here I import three videos which I downloaded from pexels.com. If you want to import more files, you can click the button to choose files from your desktop. After importing, the video information will be displayed here. The video format, size, resolution and length can be seen clearly. If we want to know more details of the media information, right-click the video and choose Media Info. Encoder, Video Bitrate and all the other important details will be shown here. We can copy them if needed. The videos can be renamed by clicking this pen icon. Renaming videos can help us better locate them. We will quickly rename the videos with numbers. The icon beside allows us to edit media metadata. Once we click on it, we can change the media thumbnail, title, genre and many other settings. This will be helpful when we are making some music formats. The converter has a build-in player. When we click on the play button in the media, the media files will be played so that we can preview them before and after converting to check the result without opening other media players. The icon here allows us to choose soundtracks. However, the videos I downloaded don't contain any soundtracks, so it is not available here. We can also choose different audio tracks here. Say we don't want the original audio track, we can add another track ourselves, the new track will be applied after converting. On the right side of this arrow, we can choose what format to be converted to. A large amount of media formats are listed here, you can choose whatever formats you need with different resolution. If you prefer customizing the settings yourself, click on this pen icon, more detailed information will pop up and all the parameters for both video and audio, including frame rate, bitrate, encoder could be customized to suit your needs. Besides that, if you are not sure how to set up the format, there are default settings for certain devices and social video platforms. You can simply choose the device or platform you want to upload, this can save some of your energy when converting. We can set up every media in this way, or we can do the settings here, then all the media files will be converted to the same format. In here I will choose a format altogether, and click create to confirm. We can choose a path to save the media files, I will leave it as default. Another thing to mention is that these two icons here mean hardware acceleration and lossless conversion. We can turn them off, but I recommend you to turn them on for they can speed up converting process. Hardware acceleration will make the best of your GPU to speed up, while lossless conversion can also raise the speed without encoding and decoding. When everything is set up, click on the Convert All button to start converting. With the help of GPU and lossless conversion, only within seconds, the conversion will be completed. When it is done, a small red dot will appear on the converted button to remind us to check. All the completed video will be listed here. We can click the play button to check the final result. They have already been saved to the folder we selected. We can keep converting or editing them by adding them to different lists. 
In the download module, it allows us to download media files from websites. I will download a video from our YouTube channel for example. This is my home page of our channel. We click on any of the videos, and click share to copy the link. Then back to hit PA video converter, click on the import button. The software will automatically analyze the link we copied and locate the video we want to download. The video title is shown here. We can download video, audio, thumbnail or subtitles, and choose the format we like. Here let's choose a common format, MP4 to proceed. With the acceleration open, it only takes a few seconds to complete the download. Once finished, the media file will be listed here. We can click to play it. As you can see that the quality is as good as what we see in YouTube. If the video has audio, the soundtrack will be displayed here, we can change its soundtrack if we like. Just add the media to convert list, and choose the audio track you prepare, then new audio will be applied to the video. The download feature can support many mainstream websites to download videos, you may click on supported websites to check what websites are supported. As you can see that websites like YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Vimeo, Instagram and so many more are supported you may get to use it in a proper way. Let's move on to the edit module. In this module, we can do the cut or merge operation to videos. And other useful features are already in development. There will be more functions in the nearly future. I will use these three videos we converted as materials. Add all of them to edit list. Now they are all here. We can also change their formats if we need. Or we can add more files by clicking the button here. Now let's see how to cut and merge videos. We click on cut to enter a new interface. We can play the video, drag the slider in the timeline to preview, locate the slider to an exact point and cut the video. Now the video has been separated into two clips. We can delete the one we don't need by clicking this bin icon. Alright then, I will quickly do the same operations to the other two videos. Then choose a format we want. I will just leave it as mp4. One thing to mention is that if we don't want to merge all the videos, we can simply click export all. If we want to merge them together, we need to tick merge into on file, and the sequence of the videos can be adjusted ourselves. When everything is set ready, click on export all to start merging. When it's completed, the video can be played in the list. Now the three clips are merged together. It is also saved in the folder of your computer. Now that we have known the three important modules, we shall then take a look at the settings. In the Preferences tab, we can access some basic settings of HitPA Video Converter, change the task number, or appoint the location to save the files. We have already mentioned the GPU acceleration, I would recommend that you turn it on. The converter can support 15 plus languages for users worldwide. If you have any questions of how to use the converter, you may check the user guide on HitPaw's website, or watch our guide videos to learn more about the tips and tricks.
Okay then, this is the end of the full tutorial of HitPa Video Converter. You can go to hitpa.com and download the converter to have a try. I have put the download link in the description below. Also, I will really appreciate it if you hit the subscription button and give us a thumbs up. Your encouragements are a great help to us. Thanks for watching. See you next time.